Um, hi, I'm Mickey Tennyson. Second year industrial design at CBT Cape Town. I'm here with um, Daniel Barnard and he is having a bit of a problem with his room and I'm here to fix it. So Daniel, just tell me a bit more about your problem here. Well, Nick, my problem is that my door really struggles to close this and this is really inconvenient for all my friends that live in the hostel as when they're trying to study and I close or open my door It makes quite a, quite a huge bang and it really interrupts their studying it's, it's really difficult, you know? It takes a lot of force and it's really irritating. So this is my door that we've been talking about. Basically, if you close it, it doesn't close properly. And to get it closed, you basically have to push it real hard. Miku? Okay, well, looking at the door, you can see it's nearly painted. So it's probably the paint that's a bit thick. But if you can see here, the top part of the door is a bit... Oh, I think maybe it's the hinges that's a bit far out. You can see this one's a bit raised and this one's also a bit raised. So maybe if you just take the hinges off, move this part to take it a bit more in, the door will close. So we'll take a look at that and hopefully that will fix the problem. As you see, the hinge is a bit skewed, a bit bent. That's probably why the door wouldn't close properly, so just straightening it out a bit. Um, as you can see, I just cut a little piece of um, ABS plastic out to put at the, uh, at the back on the door side of the hinge because, um, because the top part presses off this, because the lower part is um, too close to each other. So hopefully that will solve the problem. Inside of this hinge, but if you close the door, it's away at the top, nicely spaced, but at the bottom it's still catching a bit. So it means the space I put in is a bit too thick. So I'm gonna take some cardboard and layer it up to make it a bit thinner. It's much better, you can see it's not catching at the top anymore, but it's still difficult to close the door because of the paint that's a bit thick, you can see it's carving away at the door here so maybe just take away some of this paint and then the problem will be solved as you can see, as you've been seeing the whole time I put some extra spaces at the bottom hinges and at the top hinges I just take away a bit of um, like, a, like a small layer of wood and you see it's fixed now it doesn't touch anywhere and it actually goes in nicely I'm just gonna put like a little piece of it's a rubber here. I don't know if I have some, but just to keep the door from, from slamming, slamming too hard. I'm just putting this um, piece of double sided tape on the door as a bit of a cushion to keep it from smashing up on it against the frame. <laughs> so as you can see, I put the little. Um, <laughs> Double sided tape here has spaces and cushions to keep the door from like, smashing out. See, it's very, very less noisy for that for those late nights that Mr. Daniel comes in. I'm really satisfied because usually when I close the door, it made a really loud bang that disrupted everyone. But as you can see, when I close it now, it's really silent, thanks to the foam on the inside and the hinges that he changed. Thank you a lot, Niku. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to help you. And that is why Niku is a real fixpert. <laughs>